Hey there, it's me. We're gonna go over the Bosjin uh, front side quest line thing uh, so that we can power level our ults. So the first thing you need to know is you gotta get to level 80 first. You need to have completed all of the level said, uh, 70 uh, Ivalisan quest line, which is the Auburn Man Monastery, uh, the Ruderana um, Lighthouse, and all of those. If you buy the level 70 uh, level device on uh, Mog Station, it automatically completes this for you. And then what you need to do is you need to go to the Hail to the Queen quest line, which starts after you hit level 80. You come to Kugane, which is where I'm currently at, and you speak to Kaiten. And he starts the Hail to the Queen quest, which then leads into the Path to the Past and the Bozja incident. And then, once you complete those, it actually sets you in front of where the uh, quest is. And then you travel to the location, which is the Doman Enclave. And once you're at the Doman Enclave, you take the crystal Aethernet thing, you go to Gangos. And from... <coughs> from Gangos, you're there. You pick your class that you want. You speak to Zajeros. Um, and you... have at it. <laughs> uh, so... Oh, it looks like, yeah, you do the Where Eagles Nest. It is, oh, well, we're going to do a little bit of RP here because I haven't done this yet. And then once this is done, right, once this is finally over, then you just complete the quest and you go about doing your things. Now, the thing about Bosja is it, it, it you basically do skirmishes, which amount to being fakes. It boosts you to level 80, right? so that you can do everything and it increases your item level accordingly but you fight as a level 80 character but it builds up your xp for whatever character you're currently playing so without further ado we'll get there right it is good to see you my friend though it came at great cost i am pleased to say master garol has succeeded in reforging the weapons of ben hilder's blades indeed the queen's illustrious guard has at last been reborn when the deed was done word quickly spread to every faction of the bosjan resistance as we had hoped, it has reaffirmed their resolve to press on and see our home return to its former glory. In fact, our troops have already reclaimed Utia's Aegis, an outpost in the Bosjan Southern Front. When you are ready, I would ask you to make for the front lines to better assess the situation for yourself. Sjeros can show you the way. So we go back to this guy. Ah, Blade Cantharin. I've been expecting you if you'll come with me. Boom! <laughs> there it be. And so this is the overview. The rules of engagement on the southern front are different than what you will have encountered before. The following pages contain a detailed explanation of what you may expect. Level sync. Though it is possible to join the southern front beginning at 71, all players will be synced to level 80 while in duty. Item level will also be synced accordingly. All players are subject to separate or to a separate leveling system while at the front, indicated by the resistance rank. Performing admirably in large-scale battles such as skirmishes and critical engagements will increase your metal, akin to experience. If you demonstrate sufficient metal upon reporting to the resistance commander, your resistance rank will climb. Those of higher rank will gain access to more areas at the front, as well as additional quests. Upon successful completion of a military operation, you will gain regular XP points in addition to metal. This XP will be applied to your job level as normal, so it is recommended that you consider using a job that has not yet reached level 80 to take advantage of experience point gains. More information is available from Sjeros and Gangos and your resistance comrades at the Southern Front, so don't hesitate to converse. I understand what I must do. All hail the Southern Front. All right. So let's uh, do this. See what happens. 
Beg pardon, Blade Kempfern. Might I speak with you for a moment? It concerns Master Garol and the Resistance weapons. I presume he has already explained the method by which Kenhelder's blades will find their weapons. That being combat with formidable enemies. Master Garol and Zlatan intended to employ similar methods to enhance the Resistance weapons, but they have hit something of a stumbling block. To make matters worse, Master Garol, for some reasons he refuses to explain, will offer no suggestions as how they might proceed. Try as he might, Zlatan cannot convince him to expound on his thoughts, and quite frankly, we are at a loss. Guess we talk to this guy. With his nerd glasses! So I believe this actually integrates the legendary weapons. Because this guy makes your legendary weapons. That's a whole other video. Might we prevail upon you to inquire after Master Garol? Oh yeah. you. Now I know what you're thinking, but don't you go believe in whatever nonsense they've been spouting about me work. Everything's going according to plan. He told me much of the same, and I believed him too, at first. Yet he refuses to speak to me of this supposed work. Should I take my eyes off him for even a moment, a mug of ale will surely find its way to his hands. That's bollocks and you know it. Where would I even keep all of this alleged ale, huh? Behind the forge. In the forge. Buried beneath the palm tree next to your tent. The ammunition's depository. Anyone with a nose can tell when you've picked or put back a few. Hmm. Show us what you know. The ale and the ammunition's depository was shipped with the rest of the front line. Couldn't knock one back even if I wanted. Oh, you. Unless you forget, I furnished an entire squad of soldiers with them resistance weapons. Don't you think you're being a wee bit demanding? Breathing down my neck for more bells and whistles. Was trouble enough foraging them in the first place without me muse well? Has the master blacksmith finally reached his limit? Oi, you shut your mouth! You ain't but scratch the surface of me talents. Not me fault the inscriptionists are proven so bloody difficult to refine. On top of that, they're getting in the way of another improvements I might be able to make. Trouble is, they're what really give the weapons their teeth. Their design, the materials used to forge them, that's all mostly for show. If you want your weapons to have more kick, the magic of the inscriptions needs to be more potent. But I don't even know where to begin. That is indeed a curious predicament. How did the Gunhilder's Blades of Eld accomplish this? I wonder. Any thoughts? Perhaps they used Crystal Focus. Uh, yeah. You mean those doodahs what the Sayers used? By the sounds of it, the Bosjans used crystals for damn near anything what had to do with memory. Even keeping memories of their fighting techniques. Ah, that reminds me. We recently received a most interesting report from Gunhilder's Blades. Since taking the resistance weapons into hand, they have come across some peculiar new crystals on the field, quite unlike anything previously discovered. That could be just what I'm looking for. There's no reason to believe they couldn't use those crystals on weapons, right? I'd wager me last flag in Oail the Bosjans could use them crystals on their memories of battle to strengthen the enchantments of those inscriptions. Well, that's what I'm hoping. While it may be too soon to jump to such conclusions, it certainly warrants investigation. Actually, I think these glasses would be better for that, yeah? Exactly, me hunches when it comes to weapon work aren't never wrong. Of course, we can't know for sure till we have a few to try for ourselves, eh? I'll see if I can't think of a way to work these memories into me plans. In the meantime, the two of you can go and find as many as you can. Yeah. I do 
Resistance weapons must is now available from Slab. But I am guessing. So yeah, more legendary weapon stuff. So I definitely did the wrong thing. So what is this? Let's go back to the right thing. Oh! Okay, so I do have to be a level 70 character first. Oh, that's just unfortunate, don't you agree? I guess I could unlock Reaper and Sage. But, there you have it. You gotta be at least level 70, and then you can enter the boss gen front, and you are good to go. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed this little uh, aside, this bit of a tutorial. Um, we kind of accidentally mixed in a legendary quest line, so I apologize for that. But hey, that's your bonus. Take care, everybody.